Hello gamers. I have a pure mage build, but it's starting class as a Vagabond, which basically is not as good as Astrologer in that particular case. So I want to recreate the build on the correct starting class. And because of that, I'm going to take the opportunity to show you how I'm making my builds and how you can make the PvP builds on PC within like 15 minutes, make them completely ready for the action. First and for the most, I am using the online character planner in this particular case, the build planner on the EIP gaming website. Okay, so this is based for my build. Those are like uh, soft caps that essentially I am okay -ish with. Now I want to achieve my 92 points that I had on mind. Okay, I have almost finished. I just have to do a few quick adjustments to this build. Something like that's supposed to be fine. I have my 137. Also, I added 11 strength and 13 dexterity to use clean rod. And yeah, with that prepared build, we are going to head up to the understep. So first things first, you want to head up to the cheat engine website. This is cheatengine.org and download the cheat engine itself. You're gonna have plenty of optional offers here. You can look them up and decide if you want to install something or not. I'm gonna skip all of them. As you can see, the cheat engine is installed, although we don't have any tables. You basically operate mostly on the cheat engine table called the Grand Archives for the Elden Ring. Under this link to the GitHub, you can actually get the table. I'm gonna put all the links into the description of the video by the way so you don't have to really search far uh, here you can see the table version 1.1.2 if at the moment of you downloading the uh, cheat engine table you are going to see different version just simply download the newest one uh, we are going to download the er underscore tga underscore the number version of the table and now in the zip file, you are going to see two files. One is going to be TXT and one is going to be the cheat engine table itself. What you want to do is to head up to your Steam, click the right click and the properties on the Elden Ring, then go to the local files and then browse. Then you go to the folder called game. And now you want to drop this text file to the folder with the game. So what this file is doing, it is basically working around this disgusting thing here called easy anti-cheat. As of course, its name is after the fact how easy it is to work it around. From now on, if you want to run the game without the anti-cheat, you simply click Elden Ring.exe. It is going to turn on the game without the anti-cheat, but you are not going to be able to play online, which is fine. We're just simply gonna create the build offline, and after that, you are going to play the game normally without cheat engine enabled once the build is going to be created. So this is exactly what we're gonna do. So when you're gonna turn on the game, it's gonna say it's unable to start in online mode, which is absolutely fine, just click OK. You can essentially jump on your own build and use the cheat engine table uh, for the sake of to give yourself like items and so on. But yeah, I said that I want to make a completely new build. So this is what we are going to do. What I usually do is to simply uh, go through the, at least the very, very first part of the tutorial manually without cheat engine. The reason for that is because I want to be sure that I am not going to skip any important early event flag. We are going to talk about the event flags a little bit later. So yeah, the big boy jumps in. Meanwhile, we are jumping out, simple as that. It is going to activate our first event flag, which is this cat scene. We are going to skip it. What is important is that we are getting Crimson Tears once the cat scene finishes. It is important to do that is because if you would use the cheat engine to just simply teleport out of the tutorial immediately, then you wouldn't get the flask of Crimson Tears, uh, which, uh, well, would actually make some problems basically yeah you can take these things on the way it doesn't really matter because uh, you can essentially create all the multiplayer items uh, using the cheat engine table uh, we are actually going to create some other way so that's about it even at this point i can already start using the cheat engine just let me open the gates and yeah welcome to the open world let's get back to this uh, zip folder that we downloaded before 
And we have that cheat engine table. Let's just move it, perhaps. I'm just gonna drop it on the game folder as well, because why the hell not? I'm gonna open it. And now, here in top left corner, you have that monitor with the magnifying glass on top of it. So we click in on it, and here is uh, Elden Ring. You click open. I keep the uh, current address list as code list. Sure. You see this box, you just check it, and it opens the table. You go to the statistics to be sure that uh, your character is loaded. Yes, it is. We see all the stats, all good. We can close it. And now I am going to the event flags. What I'm going to do is unlock all maps. And if you're going to the game, as you can see, there are like notifications, like a map pound, map pound, that's gonna be like popping like that. You don't even have to let it go through, you can just open your map and as you can see after you're gonna click ok a few times to get through all the prompts your whole map is basically unlocked both the open world and the uh, underworld the next thing i unlock are graces so here you go if you are going to go to the map now as you can see all the graces are unlocked just like that what I'm going to do as the next thing is to activate another flag. So we are going to gate front. We have to sit at the bonfire or grace in that case. And the event is going to play. The normal manner we are used to going to skip. We are going to get our Honda Accord. And we essentially can level up already. But in my case, I'm always going to the Castle Ward tunnel first. And just, you know, to technically, like, unlock the another flag uh, related to the round table. I don't think it's necessary, though, but, well, I'm doing it anyway. Okay, and just like that, we are pretty much done with tutorial, kind of. Early flags that we wanted are already activated. Let's just get ourselves to the main academy gate. I'm gonna get myself immediately the wet blades and uh, the cookbooks. Another thing that we have here is invasion region, so you can actually click here, click all, and just click OK. From now on, essentially, every single region in the game is marked in. That basically means that we're gonna be able to invade everywhere throughout the whole map which is well basically what we want to do anyway uh, the rest uh, what we have to do is to essentially just get ourselves levels and items so we are closing the event flags we don't need this anymore we are going to scripts we are going to build creation and i want firstly to add myself souls so we are opening that one and i am going to give myself 50 million let's say Okay, 50 million added, so now we can level up the level that we wanted, which is going to be 137. Okay, fantastic. Okay, so the next tool that we want to utilize is item gib. And this is basically the only thing that we need for the sake of to finish our build. In the item gib, there is also a mass item gib, which is super helpful thing. But first and for the most, I want to define which level upgrade I want to upgrade on. It is level 137, which, well, the main purpose of that one is to connect with 125s and 150s plus. So, of course, basically we are going for the max upgrade. And I'm going to spawn myself one dagger with the max upgrade. From now on, our uh, weapon matchmaking level is basically set to the max. And now we can click here in the mass item gib, give all weapons, and we are going to get plus 25s instead of the base level weapons. Here we go. We got all the things we would ever need. We can give ourselves the rest of things that we have here. Projectiles, for example, just gonna give us projectiles. Protectors uh, are going to give us armors. And so on, as you can imagine, here is like uh, all Ashes of War. You can click it like a few times to have plenty of copies of these consumables, craftings, and so on. Yeah, we're just going through all of that. I also want to upgrade my flask to the max. So everything which we have to do is to get ourselves the golden seeds, as it is item that uh, increases 
the ammo of the flasks that we can have. I'm just gonna get myself 50. And on top of that, we can also get ourselves the sacred tears. And I'm also gonna get myself 50. It doesn't matter how much we have, as we're gonna be able to spend only particular ammo. Okay, the flask is already on the maximum. And okay, that one is maxed as well. I'm gonna go for the split 8 to 6, as it is pure mage. And now there is a thing, though. Essentially, it's supposed to be mage build, yes? But there are like a two problems. First of all, I have only two slots here on the memorize spells uh, menu. So that's one problem. And another one is the fact that I do not have pouches. I would have to go through the game. Am I teleporting all kill the bosses? No. You are just simply going to give yourself these. First of all, memory stones. Normally, I need eight more so I can just give myself eight. But I'm gonna uh, give myself ten to show you what's going to happen when you have too many of them. As you can see, this just landing on the ground. And I got only eight into my menu. And yeah, from now on, I can just simply give myself spells. Talisman pouches is basically the same story. I can give myself 10 of them. Most of them just gonna land on the ground. And yeah, here I'm going to have like a four slots unlocked. And yeah, since uh, we have gotten already all the talismans, then I can also start equipping stuff. We basically have all the armors and everything already on the character so we can as well do that okay that one is checked we have gotten our talismans we have gotten our armor sets now let's do something with these weapons so obviously i am pure mage i am not going to use most of these things there is no point for them to lie in my menus like that there is a trick on the pc normally if you are going to spam that x on the controller you are essentially, of course, gonna move the items to the storage box. It is cute and nice, yeah? You can also, like, use the left mouse button and so on. But there is also one more thing. You see, the E button, in fact, is doing exactly the same like left mouse button. You can use both of these buttons. You can basically click them as fast as you can for the sake of to just move your items faster. We're gonna do the same for... Uh, the range items and we also going to do the same for the shields okay that's perfect we are left with the empty menu and that's good because from now on we are going to simply uh, organize stuff as we want so i basically don't need much on this build i am going to utilize three rows of items one is going to be for the rapiers to hard swap to them for the sake of to have the melee weapon that I can finish people with or just like something that is going to serve as the bloodhound step stick. Uh, I want shields and of course I want catalysts. We are going back to the item gib and I am going to search clean rod, night sword and uh, I am uh, going to give myself clean rod with upgrade plus 10 and also uh, we want the affinity to be cold uh, and the ash of war i want the blood hunt step i'm giving myself and that's essentially going to crash the freaking cheat engine it is normal everything what you have to do is just to restart the game we are going to enable the cheat engine table anew it's nothing bad happened here it is just something that you can expect cheat engine crashes the game from time to time okay everything is working just fine will creation item give let's get back to business we're gonna create five of them very cool essentially the catalyst i do not need multiple copies so i am simply uh, going to go uh, to the sorted items and uh, get myself uh, the catalysts manually we definitely wanted uh, Azur Glintstone, so I'm gonna get that one. We definitely wanted Karian Glintstone to deal more damage with Karian Slicer. Uh, we probably supposed to get ourselves Lusat, or for sure, because it is gonna be our main catalyst. But besides Lusat, I actually want Regal. Uh, reason for that is because it has a spinning weapon as the unique skill on it, and essentially... 
I am actually not sure if it deals more damage or not, but essentially we ultimately want it anyway. I am utilizing it normally on the hard swap, then Lusat, and on top of that, Flame Seal. And yeah, that's gonna be uh, about it. That's our catalysts that I am going to use. The next thing that we want to get are shields, because I want a tools for parrying. But instead of like getting like a different shields, let's just get like a one of the same shield times five for the sake of so our menu is looking pretty. I like the look of the ion round shield, so this is what we are going to spawn ourselves. To type in ion round shield. Affinity we are going to change to magic. We are going to find carry ambitulation as the ash of war. I'm gonna spawn it times five. And just like that, our menus are quite pretty. Let me equip everything that I wanted. But yeah, that's uh, basically almost it. The last thing that is left to do is to take care of the multiplayer items. As you can see, here at the bottom, I basically have nothing. Everything what we need is just simply know how the particular items you want to get actually are called. So we can just type in Recusant Finger and that's going to spawn us well, Reco Sand Finger. We are going to get also the Bloody Finger, because why not? And now we have our invading items. We can also get ourselves the Duelist Finger if we are on it, because why not? Yeah, let's just get it. And yeah, you can basically get whatever you want in such manner. On top of that, we want the uh, Whetstone Knife, uh, so we can change our affinities on the bonfire. And uh, pardon if I forgot something, but I think that's it, yeah? We don't really need much more. So that's pretty much it. We have everything prepared. From now on, we can just, uh, as, as we have given ourselves the uh, Wet Blades uh, already, we don't have to bother about pretty much anything. You can uh, apply any sort of the affinity on your weapons and so on. Those things are pretty much ready to go. Like everything what is left now is just to leave the offline mode, turn off your cheat engine, get on the actual game and start playing, start invading. Let me actually uh, manage my spells and I am going to see you on the normal version of the game which is going to see if everything works as it should okay so i opened the game through steam this time and uh, by the way that txt file that uh, we previously used you do not have to remove it or anything i always keep it in my game folder and when i want to do some changes through the cheat engine i'm just enabling the game through the exe file instead of steam and just things well they just work I'm pretty much good to go. As you can see, I have that build that we have created here. 27 minutes on the timer. Most of this time spent uh, on talking about stuff instead of actually doing things. So I guess if uh, you are savvy with usage of the cheat engine, you can create a completely new build in legitimately like 15 minutes without much of an effort. But yeah, we want to invade, so let's do invasions. We should get the invasion without any problem. Well, we already see that the thing is working, yeah. By the way, worth to mention that you can give yourself, for example, great runes as well, yeah. If you want, for example, host, yeah. Hello. Oh, uh, this is NPC. Fantastic. Oh, mistakes were made. That's not supposed to be Starlight. It's supposed to be Terra Magica. <laughs> Oh well, that's uh, a slicer moment if I ever seen one. I guess that's about it. As you can see, things just works. I'm pretty sure there are like a small things that I forgot about because I was mostly focusing on presenting you the way how I create the build rather than actually making the build. But yeah, you can always just straight up log out out of the game, then go to your uh, game folder and just launch the game through the exe with that steam uh, underscore app uh, id dot uh, txt file in the in the folder turn on the cheat engine again and just give yourself the items that you forgot about essentially the rule of tab is that you do not supposed to do things that are impossible from the standpoint of the regular game don't cheat your stats 
don't give yourself uh, different ashes on unique weapons or something like that. It's not going to work in the first place, that I can tell you already. But uh, essentially, this type of the manipulations might cause you to simply get banned. And that would be bad, don't you think? So yeah, just don't fucking do that. Play like a normal human being and use cheat engine table only for the sake of to create the builds faster. I hope like this short guide is going to help you create the builds easily and fast so you can enjoy your favorite part of the game which is PvP and don't spend time on fighting through bosses when you could spend that time on invasions. Oh well, that's all. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one. Bye!